So I've been in this new shop for about four months now, and this particular piece of MDF came from the old shop. It's just been sitting and in my way for a long, long time, just waiting for a perfect use. And today is the day that I'm going to finally get rid of this piece. Now what I'm making is a painted window cornice box or window cornice, whatever you want to call it. Basically, it's just a three-sided box that fits over the top of your window and covers any type of unsightly blinds that you may have on that window. Like I said, this is gonna be painted and MDF takes paint really well, so I can get away with just using regular glue and brad nails to make butt joints. All of this will be covered and painted and you'll never see it. This is the part of the project where you can get incredibly customized results based upon the piece of molding that you choose. Now, I'm going to go a little bit more classical, traditional, and just use a piece of 11 16 cove molding on the bottom, and maybe one more piece of molding below that to kind of finish it off. And on the top side, just a regular, ordinary, uh, common piece of crown molding. To mount this to the wall, I'm gonna add a simple piece of one by four to the back side, and this will give me a lot of surface area to screw through and into the wall studs behind it. Brad nails and glue will probably hold this together just fine, but just to make me feel a little bit better on both sides, I'm going to pre-drill and add just one screw. None of this really matters as far as the screw head showing because it's all gonna be covered up by the crown molding. I can mark and cut your molding to fit, and I'm starting with the cove molding that's gonna go on bottom. Crown molding is installed the same way, but I'm going to install it with this upside down so I can reference off my flat work surface. Now I'm absolutely horrible at cutting and installing crown molding, so if you have any hesitation on doing this, uh, don't worry because if I can do it, so can you. Any nail holes or seams can be filled with paintable caulk.
This is a very simple and inexpensive project that can really give some character to an otherwise boring room. I chose this particular room to experiment with because it only has one window, and I want to do this design in the rest of the house, but I wasn't exactly sure if I liked it or not. Now that I see it here in person, I do like it, and that probably means that I'm going to make 9 or 10 more of these with various different lengths. And I'm not exactly sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing right now. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. I post a new woodworking video pretty much once a week, and I also have a website full of other woodworking related stuff that doesn't necessarily make it here to YouTube. So if you want more stuff like this, be sure to check out my website as well. Thanks for watching folks, and have a great day.